good morning dear students so today again next new topic in a cycles that's a internal study of a stem and a leaf so first we are going to discuss about internal structure of stem the ts of a stem is irregular in outline due to the presence of numerous persistent leaf base it is irregular it consists of epidermis cortex pericycle vascular tissues and pith epidermis is the outer layer it is single layer cells made up of parenchymata cells cortex consists of thin walled parenchyma cells with the which are filled with starch grains many leaf traces are present in the cortex the cortex contains mucilage ducts starch present in the parenchymata cells of the cortex is the source of sago that's why cycas is also called as sago plants because it is a edible part next cortex is followed by endodermis is a single layered and the pericycle is few layered here so vascular tissue is composed of many vascular bundles arranged in a ring form while it is in ang the bundles are conjoint collateral endarch and open the steel is ectopholic siphono steel xylem contains of tracheids and xylem parenchyma here xylem vessels are absent phloem consist of few tubes phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers so here in phloem kim sorry companion cells are absent in xylem xylem vessels are absent the primary cambium between the xylem and phloem remains active only for a short period the ang stem is monoxylic that's a with a one ring of vascular bundles it is a large pith in the center made up of parenchymata cells so it's a out structure of a old stem of a cycas here you can say mucilaginous canals leaf bases periderm it's a secondary old stem that why after secondary growth it is phloem rings xylem rings here and a central large pit which contain mucilaginous canals amount of leaf bases are present and a periderm cortex and a next that's a old stem transverse section of old stem shows secondary growth the ang stem of cycas is monoxylic that's a it contains single ring of vascular bundles but in the old stem new cambium ring are rings are produced outside the primary ring thus the old stem is polycyclic with more than one vascular ring in in ang it is mono xylic with single ring of vascular bundle in old it is polycyclic with a more than one vascular ring these cambial rings cut secondary phloem towards outer side and secondary xylem towards inside the secondary wood is loose soft and scanty that is monocyclic medullary rays are present here the core cambium develops on the outer region of the cortex the cambium produces cork tissue towards outer side and secondary cortex towards the inner side a large pith lies in the center the pith cells are parenchymatous and starch filled there are many mucilaginous ducts in the pith as you shown in the picture your central large pith is present which consists of a mucilaginous ducts so next comes internal structure of leaf you already know leaf that contain a rachis and each a single rachis contain opposite side leaflets so first we are going to study internal structure of a leaf the cycas leaf is pinnately compound each leaf has a rachis and a leaflets the transverse section of rachis of a leaf is cylindrical in outline showing insertion of pinnae or a leaflets on the upper side 
it is differentiated into epidermis hypodermis ground tissue and ring of vascular bundles epidermis is single layer thickly cuticularized and is interrupted by sunken stomata over its surface this condition is known as amphistomatic nothing but it contains sunken stomata throughout its surface next epidermis is followed by hypodermis is present below the epidermis it is composed of mainly thick walled sclerenchyma cells with chlorenchyma cells the sclerenchyma hypodermis is 2 to 3 layered here you can see the picture here of a rachis here it contains cortical upper epidermis chlorenchyma sclerenchymatous hypodermis ground tissue miscellaneous duct vascular bundles bundle sheet phloem centrifugal xylem and a centripetal xylem here so the ground tissue is large region consisting of thin walled parenchymatous cells in this region are present many miscellaneous ducts and vascular bundles here in a ground tissue miscellaneous ducts are double layered consisting of an inner layer of epithelium cells surrounded by an outer sclerenchymatous cells vascular bundles are arranged in a shape of inverted greek letter omega each vascular bundle is collateral and open it is surrounded by single layered bundle sheath the xylem is di- diploxylic that is consist of centripetal and centrifugal xylem here both type of xylem you find here in each bundle xylem is present towards the inner side and phloem is towards outer side in between xylem and phloem cambium is present xylem consists of tracheids and parenchyma xylem vessels are absent here phloem consists of sieve tubes phloem parenchyma companion cells are absent in a phloem companion cells are absent here in xylem xylem vessels are absent as in same in the stem so next the vascular bundle show different structures at a different level of rachis starting from a base to the apex it is a different at a very base region only centrifugal xylem is well developed xylem is endarch centripetal xylem is not developed at the basal region in the middle centripetal as well as centrifugal xylem are present showing diploxylic condition at the apex centripetal xylem is well developed triangular and exarch centrifugal xylem is much reduced at the apex region and there are some special features of the rachis presence of sclerenchymatous hypodermis with chlorenchyma as you seen in the diagram presence of sunken stomata all over the surface vascular bundles are arranged in inverted omega shaped diploxylic nature of vascular bundles here you here it contain both centripetal and centrifugal xylem presence of miscellaneous ducts and it is two layer so next con- comes leaflet structure of internal structure of a leaflet and it is important for your practical purposes also the cycas leaflets are large tough with a thick leathery there are also known as pinnae in the vertical section the leaflet is differentiated into solen midrib portion and two lateral wings the wings are covered sorry curved downward in the cycas revoluta or flat as in a cycas pectinata it is differentiated into epidermis hypodermis mesophyll tissues transfusion tissues and vascular tissues upper epidermis is single layered and is thickly cuticularized 
hypodermis is present below the epidermis it is lyrenchymatous hypodermis is absent below the epidermis except in the midrib region here except midrib region in the other regions in a wing region the hypodermal cells are present here and it is of a two up layer epidermal layer one is upper and another one is lower epidermal layer so here you can see the diagram of the leaflet it contains cortical and a both upper epidermal cells and a lower epidermal cells in the lower epidermal cell you find a stomata and except in the midrib region in the middle or here contain a both mesophyll sorry hypodermal tissues there are two types here one is pellicide parenchyma tissues and one is a spongy parenchyma tissues and in the wings region the central region consists of transfusion tissues so again you are going to study the some characters here mesophyll lies below the hypodermis and is well developed it is differentiated into upper pellicide and lower spongy parenchyma pellicide cells are radially elongated and filled with chloroplast spongy parenchyma cells are loosely arranged with intracellular spaces the cells are oval and filled with chloroplast the spongy parenchyma cells are loosely arranged and are oval and filled with the chloroplast pellicide is present both in the midrib and in the wings below the hypodermis spongy parenchyma is present only in the wings directly above the lower epidermal region transfusion tissues lies between pellicide tissues and lower spongy parenchyma nothing but in between both parenchymatous tissues it is a 3 to 5 cell thick transfusion tissue cells are long and colorless it runs transversely from the midrib to the margins of the wings the lower epidermis is single layered stomata are sunken here only stomata are present in the lower epidermal region and those are sunken stomata in the midrib region lies a single vascular bundle it is surrounded by parenchymatous tissues with calcium oxalate crystals are present the vascular bundle is conjoint collateral open and diploxylic nothing but both centripetal and centrifugal xylem is present here it shows a large triangular patch of centripetal xylem and two small group of centrifugal xylem one on each side of the centripetal protoxylem the vascular bundle consists xylem cambium and phloem xylem parenchyma and companion cells are absent here xylem consists of tracheids and pa xylem parenchyma only xylem vessels are absent here the leaflets or a pinnae shows some xerophytic characters thickly cuticularized upper and lower epidermis presence of sclerenchymatous hypodermis lateral veins are absent here sunken stomata in the lower epidermis only presence of transfusion tissues diploxylic nature of vascular bundle these are some important characters or xerophytic characters of the leaflet so in this section you studied the internal structure of the cycastem and the internal structure of a rachis then leaflet and here the internal structure of leaflet is important for both practical and theoretical purpose i think you all understood this session thank you